I honestly don't know. Gale's already hard enough to read when it comes to this character select, <laughs> but... I guess, oh, I guess Pit would be good against Karin, but, you know, Hero, come on, man. <laughs> hero. I agree. Oh, no. <laughs> hero seems pretty terrible against Karin, actually. Well, I mean, outside of the... Outside of, like... Oh, he really needs <laughs> That's it. I mean, kind of, like, going back to lock, right? Okay, Pit's gonna be the choice here, so let me throw away my Hero script. Here, put it right back to Dark Pit. The one thing that we had know that Gale is really efficient with when it comes to using Dark Pit is Garden Arbitars, especially because they got buffed as of the recent patch, so things will be a little bit more easier when it comes to getting hit from the side. So that's one aspect here of, you know, Pit versus Horror, and we'll see how Gale can handle the rest. Like I said, right, that aspect already coming off the play. I feel like this is a interesting match only because I feel like both these characters aren't played, so they both don't really know the matchup. <laughs> I mean, outside of a few small differences, Corrin is almost back to what she was in Smash 4. I think she's better in this game, honestly. Her, her damage and combo ability is much better. I agree, Employee. but that counter in Smash 4, man, that was uh, some ridiculous stuff. She may be better, but I'll never forget Smash 4 core encounter. I just like that she has speed to match, like, her pressure. So, yes. fares and nares, uh, cross up nares, and those, like, retreating space fares will be a little bit more dangerous. Oh, there's the pop out from the cool. downer, but no confirmation. That's another thing that's really good for Corn in this game is she can cancel her pin really easily. So even when you get stuck like that, they can mix up whenever they want to do the kick or the jump. The jump's also la pretty much lagless in this game too, so yeah. it's really good. That's why yeah, I can also forget that. that. That tech situation too. Oh, oh pop, pop! Arrow. Two dark yeah. arrows right in the oh, face nice. already. Even, even, I mean, right, only these two players understand what's going on when it comes to this matchup. Like you said, right, um, Corrin, largely the same, a little bit better from her Smash 4 iteration, so something Gale might have been a little bit familiar coming out from Smash 4, him playing both the game itself, so we'll see. I mean, he's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, but we just already saw, like, Gale being aggressive off stage, and really smart option from Cosmos oh. to immediately lose the LP. You know what? Corrin does have some invulnerability on the uh, the recovery of the up B, so uh, that's something that Gale's gonna have to keep an eye out for in case Cosmos decides to use it early. To yeah, challenge. it's actually really risky too, because if you mess up, uh, you'll get reversal. It looks like a back air or something. Oh yeah. Pretty, sure. pretty bad. Oh. That's a tough okay, spot, yeah, 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 because you can't forget the fact that forward smash also has a front hitbox, which is the buzzsaw of the sword itself, and then the actual initial hit that is the lance. Uh, well, not really a lance, but I would say the arm. We saw that earlier in the play where Gale had to hold shield, and then that just ate up his shield and lost his uh, spot. It's like the same thing as uh, Ness's yo, -Yo. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know how to get out of that. A lot of times, they'll just drop shield and then they'll, they'll just die because they have like the max charge of smash at that point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this isn't too bad for uh, Gale though. Oh, oh, I think I think oh, it's one of the players that have been around while I was there. Okay. Oh. Nice snipe. One arrow. First the the second one. one. That, was, yeah, that was a really good recovery from Cosmos. Down throw for the damage, and he DI'd in. He didn't get hit, but it was pretty bad to DI in there. It's a nice blood for ledge. Dang, two frames of B. Alright, this is bad. It's actually over soon now. <laughs> <laughs> pretty so much, yeah. Like two times at ledge. Oh, nice. no. Good read on the armor. Oh, it's not you killed. Think, uh... Using the dragon shot to, to stall into the air a little bit, but unfortunately, Cosmos got sniped from across stage with, this, with that arrow. And these are really some really good edge guards with the arrow. Actually, that's why I did all of his skills. Okay, he's in the order so he doesn't get side beat off stage, but he's still at the ledge. Oh, he dropped them. I couldn't tell if he dropped them or No, he, he didn't drop it. He So, he the thing about Dark Pit. It's the feet, yeah. If he gets hit by the feet, they're not invulnerable. Only, you know, the sides. So anything above and below Dark Pit will actually hit him. And since back air from Corrin has 
as you can see the range to do that, it was actually perfectly positioned. That's actually really sad. I, I know for sure Cosmos didn't mean for that to hit, but <laughs> it's okay. Man, sometimes you gotta put moves out there just to apply pressure. If they hit, fantastic. Oh, all right, Gail. On, I would say what we like to call it, going back to the drawing board here. As you can see, him going off the, off the ring here, going to choose either the stage, of course, and the character locking in dark, but still. A lot of things he did properly, he was able to avoid a lot of hits using Garden Orbitars. I think Cosmos did a really good job sometimes, though, making yeah. sure that when he applied pressure, he did it really, really well. Still want to see the hero pick, though. I agree. I think you, got, I think you gotta really wonder, much, how would a hero have worked out? Maybe we'll see if he, like, barely wins this game. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's a good pick, though. I don't think this is his best character. First coin. Or even no never mind. I was gonna say Sonic, but never mind. That actually kinda sucks. Anyway, let's see. It's a good star, oh, no sweet spot back here. At least he's still juggling him though. Yes, yeah, yeah, we may not have gotten the sweet spot back here, but Gayo is still making it work, keeping Cosmos above him and attacking on a little bit of extra jam. These nares out of shields. Yeah. I don't know are like, much trouble. I don't know where these nares were in the first game. They just weren't there. But like now he's like getting much more reward. Might have been the stage a little bit harder to get with the platforms in the way. Oh. 104, alright, this is definitely sent for oh, Dark. Can you believe that his up air didn't hit his toes? It's because, okay, so. That one to me. Like, he was literally right under him. Uh, so actually, like, well, it's the hitbox. The hitbox starts where, as you can actually see, it actually. I can't go instant replay right now, but you it actually hit the shield first then swept to the toes. As long as he's hitting the shield, man, he's getting that invincibility, so he was fine right there. I will say one thing, like, I've seen Cosmos do a lot that really makes me happy is, like, we continue to see him use, like, the pin, not the S-Smash, but the pin at the ledge, and then immediately, like, do the, the down cancel. So he's putting out a hitbox, like, a two-frame, and kill early, and then immediately retaking position to continue to ledge trap. Yeah, so it makes uh, that pin in this game so good. Oh, pretty good everything. job but keeping on the lead fine. here. Yeah, Gale was doing a great job holding this lead. If I was him, I would like just keep holding the center stage, but he tried to challenge pin. Oh, okay, there's a sweet spot back here. No snipe, but force him to go low. You can't really challenge that up B though, because his hitboxes just aren't that great. Yeah, I almost feel like it's better to just stay on stage and then try and like grab Cosmos and try and see what the options are and like wreck up damage that way instead of going off stage to challenge the upbeat. Because you never know, you don't know if you're gonna get hit by those intangible wings or you're gonna get hit by the invulnerability. It's just not, it's not in his, in Gale's favor that he's going to land the down air on Cosmos. Yeah, great tech, cool. Oh, oh! Okay, he's actually forcing he didn't get stunned. My god. Oh, oh right above. Pin, Damn. Tipper yeah, and like above. The orbit spot above the orbiters. Sucks for Gale, because he had a good lead, but now Cosmos has pretty much all the room in the world to like rack up the percent. Corn Look at the amount of buttons. Though. Look at the amount of buttons that Cosmos is pushing. He's throwing out so many air hills into pin. He's trying to be very unpredictable, but he gets down thrown into up air. We're gonna see that up there, kills now. Yeah, Dark Fist is good. I, I don't blame him. Yeah. Dark Fist, he is, uh, yeah, his tarts are actually worth it. I have to agree on that one. 26, alright. Oh, you, you went to the ledge, so that was really smart. Too. Let's think about Dark Fist here, and even regular, but you can tell. Oh, that was close. Oh. He gets yeah. very outrageous. Oh, man. Alright, this is scary now. It's gonna take a lot for Gale to do this back. Up oh, there? Yep. Corrin letting Dark Pit know I was the original down tilt upper way before Byla. Oh jeez. So many of can kill Gale right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, look at all these buttons coming out. Right. Gale's still okay, finding her at 65. Right, it's a good juggle. 
Oh, I like that back air from- Oh, he- He went super greedy for the side view. I like that back air from Cosmos to like actually drift out of the way of getting juggled. Okay, edge cancel there was kind of interesting. Oh, he only- yeah, if, if it wasn't for invincibility. Yeah, oh, no, he dropped it, but he didn't get punished himself, so it's fine. Okay, he's gonna hold the ledge because he can't challenge the LPs. No, sweet spot again. What? Okay, so we're gonna leave around those arrows too. Oh, wow. But another down smash. Everything kills. <laughs> that, Everything that was, kills. A, that was a situation where I would say that was the third or fourth time I saw Gale go for down smash. In a situation where Cosmo.